All right, guys, we are here on 5221 North 22nd Avenue. I feel, I, be, I believe that's the address. And if you, if you, can you, can you point to that right there? That, that's a triplex that we're buying. And right here is a same exact homeowner. And, and the reason, and the way we, uh, the way we structured this deal was, hey, Sal, if I can buy that three unit from you, 0% seller finance, I want a discount on this deal as a package deal. You know, so we are under contract and I'm doing the, my final inspection before I finally close on it. Uh, the only thing that, that we need to do is, you know, get the, do the entire landscaping, uh, the tr uh, cl clean out the trees and the weeds and all that stuff. But other than that, I'm checking out the interior of the house and this house, the homeowner Sal um, bought, bought it uh, from the exact same owner. So, so two owners ago, before, my, before Sal bought it, the previous homeowner, uh, he, it was a package deal for Sal. And now Sal, Sal is selling it to me as a package deal. So I got a good deal on the, on the triplex and I'm also getting a good deal on, on this deal. And the best part about this deal is obviously they're right next to each other. So for me to add another, um, for me to add another unit, it, it, it's not going to cost me any, any more work. Matter of fact, what we're going to do is we're going to tear down the uh, fences so that, this, so, that, so that the both units are continuous. So it's not blocked off by a, by a wall. And this house was performing as a, as a the homeowner flipped it, flipped it and then while on while he, and, he, and then he was using it as an Airbnb for a little bit and he decided to put it on the market and that's when that's when we went under contract. So we bought that house on seller finance and this house we're partnering with somebody else. So they, this person uh, said, was well I'm seller financing you that house. I don't necessarily want to seller finance this house. Can you just cash me out right? So what he what so I, what I did was I brought on a partner say hey. I'll bring the money and you bring your you bring your credibility say hey like you get you get your own How about we go traditional financing on this one? And I'll bring the down payment and all and I'll do all the management You just let me just borrow your you know credibility so that we can just get a loan and just pay and then get into this deal Traditionally, right? So it's one of those few deals that we actually get into into the deal <coughs> traditionally and I'll show you in the house. So This is a this is a uh, two-bedroom two-bath that we are plan planning on splitting and And I have to figure out like how I want to split it because I'll show you the exterior of the house later on. But we, this is a driveway one, and then on the other side there's another driveway. And this house is this house will be also will be a midterm rental. And 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 one and one, one 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 thing I like about this deal is that this house comes already furnished. It's all already included in the in the pricing. Be careful, there's a little step right here. Yeah. So. As you, as you saw the triplex video, which I'll put in the description box below, it is the exact same cabinets, right? Like, same cabinets as, you know, as the one that, one that we saw. The only thing is the, the countertop's a little different. But this is the same flooring, I mean, same flipper, you know? Like, most flippers, they, they, they do the exact same thing. Like, my, for all of our Airbnbs, we buy the exact same thing. Because we don't wanna, you know, we don't wanna complicate that uh, SOP, the systems, systems process. One thing that you never do is you never open up a uh, empty, uh, fridge on an empty house because we opened this up uh, two months ago and there's like food that was rotting and the whole house stinked. All right, so this is a little under thousand square feet, and I'll show you. The, so this is the living area, and then ba uh, bathroom number one. Bathroom number one, and then bedroom number one. It looks like somebody was sleeping here. It looks like the bed's not even made. And then that. And then bedroom number two. This is uh, a primary bedroom which which comes with the uh, with the bathroom included. So all the all this was including the purchase price, and I was think I was. You know, and, and there's a lot, of, a lot of people say, okay, well, you can, I probably bought this furniture, which was including the purchase price. Probably, I'll probably pay like, you know, ten, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 more than if I were to go, at, go and get my own, uh, go get, get my own furniture because we buy our furniture at such a deep discount. But if you really think about it, this, the, the holding cost on this house, the, the, our, monthly, our monthly mortgage payment on this house would be around 2600 right? So if, you, if we furnish the house, it's gonna, be, it's gonna cost us, you know, it's gonna take us at least you know, two to three weeks just to get it, just for it, get, just for it to get delivered and for us to furnish it, it's gonna be about a month, right? So do we wanna spend that, do we wanna have the homeowner take this into a storage, uh, or do we wanna just like buy the entire furniture as is and have the turnaround time a lot be quicker, right? So that we save money on the holding cost. So, so those are the things that you have to factor into, into the deal. And obviously, this this house, you know, you know, there's not 
I don't. There's nothing I. There's nothing I need to do to. There's nothing I need to do to this house to get it up and running. So. And this will be like a big closet space. Man, look how tall the ceiling is. So, our play on a lot of our houses is, you know, I'm not a big fan. I'm not. I'm personally, I'm personally not a big fan. And this is a washer and dryer. Look at, look at this. This alone is priced seventy, seven to eight thousand dollars, all included. And we can turn it around, we can turn we can turn this thing around like immediately. But our, I like to I don't like to have a single family rented as a single family. If I see an opportunity to split it up, if I see an opportunity to split up the house, then I I, I want to do it. So I'm walking into this house and I'm like, okay. So each bedroom has to have I mean each room has to have some sort of kitchen kitchen area and access to the lo the, the laundry, which in this case. There's only it's it's in it's in, inside the building, right? So what I'm thinking right now is, and I love to get everyone's feedback on this. What I'm thinking right now is, what if I did like a private entrance right here, like so we'll, we'll carve out a car, carve out a wall, uh, we carve out a door, so people can come in, and this could be like a studio, right? So kitchen area here and a studio here, and then and then we block it off, and then another entrance. Right, like maybe a wall right here, so that we can use one of the bedrooms as a kitchen area, dining area, and then one bedroom as another um, for, for for the beds. Right. Um, there's so many. There's, but then, but then now the question is, how how are we gonna get how how are both units gonna get access to the laundry, right? And those are the things that you, that you have to factor in. And and let me show you the outside. This is pr this is prior to closing, so. There's a lot of things that we need to do, especially with the landscaping. But this is but this is what but this is what I was talking about having two different and two different driveways, right? So this is driveway number one, and then let's, let's walk this way. Oh, was that bit by a dog? And then this is driveway number two. So I I have one one way. Neighbor, um, split, split, split up two bedroom, two bath into one bedroom, one bath, one bedroom, one bath, and this will be another one, you know, exclusive entrance, and that will be another one exclusive entrance, and I'll show you the backyard. Excuse the mess, but here, here in City of Phoenix. Because there's because there's not enough housing, City of Phoenix actually allows you to build an ADU in the back, right? So so this is big enough lot, and here, let's go this way. so this is big enough lot. So if you're if you're looking to build an ADU here in Phoenix, you have to be a certain distance away from the west. Uh, this will be the west wall. That will be the north wall, and this will be the you know the, you know distance away from the house. And then the south fence, right? Like you have to have certain distance, and you can build a ADU. And that, and now the question is, okay, this is a single family house I bought. I'm turning us turning a single family house into two bed, uh, one bed, one unit, with one bedroom, one bath, one unit, one one bedroom, one bath, and I'm having an ADU in the back. So this single family house, my payment is twenty six hundred, but I have I, I have potentially three different sources of income, right? Like. I could probably bring in with a one bedroom, one bath, probably 1800, 1800, and ADU, probably 1500. So now I have 32, 40, I can just, just on this house, I can single handedly bring $4,700 a month, right? So this is where you got, this is where you have to get creative because a lot of the investors say, you know what, Kevin, the, the, you know, this interest rate is killing me. Like this house I'm buying with 7.7% 7. 7 interest rate. But if you really think about it, you have to get creative on the exit strategy, right? You can't just look at, oh. Someone's here. Hello. 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 Hey, what's going on? Are you the inspector? Fraser. Oh, Fraser. Okay. Are you fine now? Yeah. I just have to measure and take some photos. Do you need a, Do you need access to the inside? This is just one door. Oh, okay. I got you. Uh, I mean, how long will you be here? Probably five minutes. Okay, perfect. Yeah. All right, but, but look at it. All right, guys. This is what you get. This is what you get here in Phoenix. 
West Phoenix especially, you just get, you know, neighbor, neighbors like that. But let me... But, th but this is what I was saying was, every single time you're buying a house at 7.7% interest rate, you cannot look at a deal from a long-term long -term rental perspective, every, every single deal. A lot of investors will look at this deal, two bedroom, two bath, and say, this house could rent out for 1,700. Yeah, but that's if you rent out the entire thing for 1,700. What, what, what have, can you get creative on splitting up the house, building something, building something on the back, and possibly make more money, right? So this house, we're getting 7.7%, we're buying it traditionally, all that, and I, and I never buy anything traditionally, but, you know, we we just have to figure out a way to work. And if you want to be the best buyer, if you want to be a great, if you want to be a great real estate investor, you have to figure out the uh, exit strategy on the back end. Um, but guys, I am I buy a lot of houses here in, here in the Phoenix area. I buy a lot of houses on seller finance, subject to taking a mortgage payment, and I'm looking to get into the multifamily side of things. So if you guys if you guys if you guys have any deals, uh, I love uh, send, send it to my email. I'll put the description box below, and also join this free school community and ask me any questions. I'll be the, I'll, I'll personally be the one to going in, going into every single, uh, every single morning, go into school community and answer, answer your questions personally. So join the school community It is completely free. I'm not charging anything for it. And until next time, see you guys in the next video.